Let's turn to France, where lawmakers have voted to ban many short-haul domestic flights. It is in a bid to reduce carbon emissions. The legislation will end routes where the same journey could be made by train in less than two and a half hours. The planned measures will face a further vote in the Senate before becoming law. The BBC's Tim Allman reports. Thanks to the pandemic, fewer people are taking to the skies. But the French government wants to see a reduction even when things get back to normal. It says it's committed to reducing carbon emissions and the airline industry is a big producer of CO2. Hence the vote to ban a number of domestic flights, although connecting flights won't be directly affected. Either way, some lawmakers remain to be convinced. I think this method is not the right one. The environmental choice must take precedence. But let's not abandon the social and economic choices around industry and around airports. The two are complementary. The law still has to be approved by the Senate, but assuming it comes into effect, it'll prohibit all flights that could be made by train in less than two and a half hours. That would bring to an end services between Paris and cities like Nantes, Lyon and Bordeaux. But after some objections from airlines and regional officials, longer flights from the capital to places like Toulouse, Marseille and Nice will still be allowed. According to Greenpeace, this change would spare the most polluting air connections. With more than 3 million passengers in 2019, the flights between Paris and Nice generates the equivalent of 225,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide. France, of course, has a renowned train network. Getting round here is usually pretty painless. It may not be the same for other countries who might be considering a similar scheme. But ministers insist big steps have to be taken if we're serious about climate change. Tim Allman, BBC News.